Hello, so we are back and this time with a customer job. This is a nice Lenovo, Lenovo Legion. We have uh, Radeon and uh, RTX graphics. What the laptop is doing is coming on, and that's all, no picture on the screen, nothing. But the customer is saying, hi, I have a Le Lenovo Legion 5P type and uh, it was working fine. I switch it on and the screen at the boot give a we are updating message on a black screen, which I have never seen before, not the usual Windows update messages. I was just hanging there for a quite a long time, so I dec decide to reboot the laptop. Then when the button pressed, when the power button was pressed, I start it start making loud beeps, <coughs> and uh, it's just a black screen with no control at all. I thought the BIOS has failed. The beeping has now stopped, but still just a black screen. I have tried to reset on the whole side, as the user manual states, but still nothing. Okay, so the the story is quite simple. Let me power off. Uh, the customer seen an update message. And uh, the laptop died. Okay. Now, from what is that update message? It's a confusion. It's not only the BIOS. Actually, it can be the Thunderbolt. Yeah. You have two BIOS. Uh, most laptops they have two BIOS inside. But let's open and check. Actually, this is the worst fault. When actually it's coming on, nothing faulty, and you have no picture. But I believe all what we can do is to play a little bit with the BIOS. Maybe it was a BIOS update. We don't know yet. But let's open. Let's check. And let's see what we can do. Wait, this is brand new. I mean, can you see it? Let's check here. We have a seal here. No one ever opened this laptop before. Wow. It's such a honor, you know, to open a laptop for the first time. <coughs> so I understood that the, the, the customer reset the BIOS. Okay, the BIOS battery must be here. Let's unplug the BIOS battery. Let's unplug the big battery. Maybe that it will fix the problem. So I believe this customer hasn't opened this laptop before. So let's reset everything, connect everything back. No, the hard drive is there. No, I don't think this laptop was open before. Plugging back the battery. Power on. And still nothing. Okay, the laptop is still dead. That's cool. That's cool. At least it's faulty. You know, I will feel I will feel bad. You know, just to reset the BIOS and the laptop it will work. That will make me, you know. Okay, so let's check some voltages around here. The fans are not spinning. The GPU and CPU are getting warm. That means the voltages are fine. Uh, so from where we should start? The bio, this laptop failed by a BIOS update. So I believe, you know, I know what you're thinking here. Yeah. I believe the way to go is to refresh the BIOS. Yeah, this is something what we can do. I don't think it's the IO chip because I press the power button, the IO chip is reading the power button, so it looks fine. Yeah, let me grab a, let me grab a BIOS for this one. And uh, let's try and doing it. Yeah, I will power off. It's no point trying anything else. Let me grab, take out the heat sink because the bio ship is somewhere here. Yeah, the voltages are fine. I can feel them warm. Okay, let's connect the clamp on the bios here. Good. Now let's try and read it. Let's see. First, we have to detect the chip. I believe it's 3.3. This one. Okay, let's see. Let's see. 
Okay, so the chip has been identified. Let's read the chip. Always, you know, it's good to save the original BIOS. You never know. All good, let's save it. Okay, so I took the board out because we need the board uh, model number. So, uh, what we have, uh, we have NM-D281 revisions 1.0. So, let's go and try to find the BIOS, yeah, desktop, nm dash d281, and we can see someone already requests the BIOS, yeah, request the BIOS. Okay, let's see this post. So this was here. And the moderator reply with the IT firmware and the BIOS, okay? So let's download this BIOS. Let's load that BIOS. So it was this one, AMD open. Now let's program the BIOS and hopefully it will work. Finished, okay? So verify everything is fine, let's see. It's working or not. So what do I want to put back? It's only the heat sink. Uh, the screen and the heatsink and I can use the charger Okay, let me plug the charger. The charger is plugged in. Now let's see. I can see the LED, the power on LED here, it's on. Let's wait. I'm curious if it's starting. We have to wait because we reset the BIOS and the laptop is working fine. You can see. So actually it was a BIOS problem. You can see. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great. I'm just trying to show you the workflow of a software issue. Okay. Because like how I said, and we are like 300,000 300, people on this channel. But on our Discord are like 10K. Because you need this kind of files. I got the file like in one second. You've seen that, yeah? Just going on the Discord searching because someone already asked the BIOS, yeah? Get the BIOS, program the BIOS, the laptop is fixed. Okay? Now, another important aspect is the history. Yeah, the way how the customer told me the laptop died, which indicates in a BIOS issue, in a BIOS problem. I'm happy I held this, uh, this customer. Okay? That's all. I'll put all back together. Just give me one minute. Okay, before we are closing the laptop, let's replace the thermal paste, yeah? Have in mind, this laptop was never open. 
Okay, all clean and nice. Usually, I'm using the MX4 one, which is okay. But I bought this one. This is special for gaming laptops, yeah? Uh, I tested on my laptop, and uh, compared with my MX4, it's about 5 degrees better with... Uh, I think this one is Thermal Grizzly coconut, Croconaut. Yeah, I, I think that's the one. So this is fantastic. It's a little bit more expensive. But I'm using it only for the for the gaming laptops. So I believe it's ready. It's loading the windows. Perfect. Yeah, this is a perfect job. Okay. Good. I will stop now. I have to put the back screws. But anyway, the job is done. And uh, yeah, it's unbelievable. The, the updates can uh, damage the BIOS. It can corrupt the BIOS. Okay, so thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.